Hello, we're here to talk about the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe DLC that's coming out. Now, if you don't know, Mario Kart 8 is a game that came out in 2013. A game that came out on the Wii U itself. And you might be thinking to yourself, whoa, they're still releasing DLC for that? Yes, they are. And I am here to talk about why it's good that they do that. Because there's there are a lot of things that I want to say about this, because honestly, as a person, myself, who has played Mario Kart quite a bit, and on stream as well, I just want to say, I think I have a fair opinion about this game, you know? I've played it on the Wii U, I've played it here, and I've been at the point where I was desperate for some more Mario Kart. Like, don't get me wrong, Mario Kart 8 is an absolutely amazing game. It has... The good mechanics, it has a good way of teaching people how to drive, they ha like, there's nothing wrong with Mario Kart 8. Why? So, instead of making a new game, they added upon it, which I, for one, fucking adore. Because you gotta understand, we could have had an entirely new game, Mario Kart 9. What do you want to add? No, tell me, seriously, do you want to add new characters? Well, you can do that with DLC. The only reason why there should be a new game for Mario Kart, if there's a new way to play it. For example, Double Dash. That's like a feature that people love and want to play. Double Dash being one of the most known and one of the best Mario Karts there is. So, unless there's something like that that they are willing to add, there's not gonna be a change. This is good, the DLC. And you know what also is amazing with the DLC? You can get it with the Nintendo Online Expansion Pack. Now, I already have it because I have friends who wanted uh, the Animal Crossing thing. I myself wanted to, uh, to have the Nintendo 64 games and all those. Because I like, I like playing all those old games, alright? And it's 24, it's 24.99 euros. But you gotta understand, these are 8, 48 courses. That's like an entire new game for 20 for 25 euros. Do you really want to spend another 60 on a new Mario Kart game where they don't have the features of this game somehow? And like you want to risk that because they have done that. They have fucked up games before. If you look at Melee and Super Smash Bros. Brawl, you know that they are able to fuck up. Games can fuck up. And Mario Kart 8 is a sublime game. It's a very good game. So them adding DLC, I'm fine with that. Oh, but it's only tracks. Okay, you know, once people maybe like it and people buy it, they might actually, I don't know, add more characters as well. I would fucking love Funky Kong. Funky Kong's my dude. I would get a beer with Funky Kong. I love Funky Kong. That's all I'm saying. Honestly, I don't really get why people got so upset, honestly. Because uh, you have things as well where... Ah, yeah, here is the example. It's more expensive to buy Diddy Kong in Mario Kart Tour, a mobile game, have that added, than get 48 more courses. I don't know. Like, you gotta understand, I hate, like, mobile gamings fucking suck. I play Pokemon Unite, and I hate that I do. But honestly, I think this is good. I don't feel that this is bad. They could have added more characters, yeah, that's a small thing. But to make a new game, you need something new as well. If it's just gonna be Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Deluxe, people will be way more upset. I got upset at the first time Mario Kart 8... I uh, got a deluxe version because it's, it's just the same game. I I didn't get it. Like now in deluxe, you did get all the DLC and stuff, so that's something I could change my old Mario Kart 8 uh, on my Wii U for the one on the Switch, so it was cheaper as well. But I think this is fine. I think DLC like this is great because instead of them releasing a Mario Party game and then. Uh, up the adding online to it and then two weeks later announcing a new Mario Party game I'd rather have DLC. 
I'm just saying, I don't want to spend twice the money for that. Like, I'm fine with $25 for DLC that I can choose if I want to. You know, like, I, you can still play Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. It is the most sold Switch game. You gotta understand. Most sold Switch game. So a lot of people will have it. A lot of people will decide not to buy the DLC, which is fair, which is to all power to them. But they can still play with their friends. They can play however they want to. The DLC is not something bad. I'd rather have the DLC than paying for a whole ass new game. It's just gonna be Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Deluxe. Alright? That's why I think. Now, you might disagree with me, and that's completely fair. That that's that's how it goes. But I feel like this is a good change. I want I rather have this than anything else. That's it. See you guys later.